Hi, it is Melissa Daniels from Strabismus to Stereopsis. And today I'm going to give you some vision therapy exercise tips that have been super helpful for me as I've gone from having my eyes not work together to getting them straight and working together. One of the biggest and most important parts of this whole journey has been learning to use peripheral vision to have great depth perception. And I'm not just talking about being able to see my hands snapping off to the sides. Peripheral vision is so much bigger than that. And it will make a bigger difference than any game of Tetris with red and blue glasses. I promise you that. Those games are fine and dandy, but they are not going to be the thing that makes the biggest difference as you work to gain depth perception. So if you want to master peripheral vision and become a complete expert, I do have a course I created and it is amazing. You can get that at learn.strabismussolutions.com. It'll take you through five different techniques for improving peripheral vision and a bunch of different exercises that you can use and apply to what you're already doing in vision therapy or in your daily life to help you use your peripheral vision to improve depth perception. Okay, so that's learn.strabismussolutions.com. Now today I'm going to teach you my latest technique for peripheral vision that I actually, um, I learned before, but I really was able to solidify it when I was in Toronto at the COVD convention and I was talking with an expert, David Cook. He wrote this book right over here and he was telling me about using divided awareness. Now, he, I've read about divided awareness before. The idea is that while I'm looking forward, I'm also dividing what I'm seeing so that I'm also seeing to both sides at the same time or up and down at the same time or near and far at the same time, right? I'm dividing so that it's kind of splitting my attention between two things. And I've done that. I use it during exercises. It's really powerful. That's one of the techniques I teach in Mastering Peripheral. Love it. But he introduced a different way of thinking about it. And I think of it as pillars. Now to explain this concept of pillars, I'm gonna show a couple different pictures of what this could mean. One might be that you are looking into a room through a doorway. And so you've got these two sides of the door frame on each side. So those could be your pillars. And so as you're looking through, you've got these pillars between you and what you're looking at. You can divide your awareness and see it both, both of those at the same time as you're looking through. Another example might be um, if you're watching TV, I do this with 3D movies, you might put a chair or something on each side of the TV, but between you and the TV where you are looking through the space to the TV and you've got these pillars or chairs that are kind of on each side that help you lock your vision and divide your awareness to both sides. Another favorite place that I think of my peripheral vision with the pillars concept is when I'm looking out of a window. I'm watching for the two sides of the window as I'm looking through. And I think of those as my pillars, right? They are kind of an in-between me and what I'm looking at. And they divide that space up into two and I'm able to really feel the difference from where I am to where I'm looking. And they're kind of like an intermediate spot between the two places. I've been working on some exercises to add to the Mastering Peripheral course, and I'm gonna show a quick preview here. You cast it onto your TV, and so those pillars on the side should be in your peripheral vision. You're dividing your awareness to see those. Now, if you're wearing the red and blue glasses, the idea is that you're looking through the TV, past the pillars, those are still in your peripheral view, but you look inside the TV and that image of that ring going around should look like it's behind the screen. Now, you might not be able to see that depth right away. It can be difficult, especially if you have strabismus, but the idea is that you're looking through and keeping those on in your peripheral view at the same time. So what is the point of this, right? I'm giving all these examples and you might be saying like, why, why would I do this? Well. I want you to try it with your vision therapy exercises if you're in vision therapy and you'll see that it really helps make that space more real. If you can get your peripheral vision turned on, you can lock into that space like I'm talking about. And what happens is maybe your brain doesn't know how to fuse what the central vision of each eye is seeing, right? You might see double in your central vision. As you do these things with your peripheral vision, it's helping your brain lock in some fusion with your peripheral between your left and your right eye. 
And that's gonna really improve your depth perception because your brain is being cued to use both eyes and it's figuring out that space. So even if your central isn't perfect, you can get amazing peripheral. This is a huge concept, especially for those of us with strabismus and especially if you've had a lifetime of strabismus in misaligned eyes, we definitely have a harder case. And if we can focus on that peripheral, it's going to make your depth so much better. I know peripheral sounds boring. I know, I know it does. I did not want to do peripheral exercises when I first started vision therapy because I thought they were pointless. I thought that I already had good peripheral vision. I thought that like, what's that gonna do? Like, no, I need my eyes to be like perfectly lined and I need that central vision. I need to wear the red and blue glasses and do Tetris, like that's what I need. And I was wrong, okay? I was wrong and that's okay. I learned through the process. I'm telling you, the peripheral is what made the difference. That has what is what has gotten me to the point where I actually experience changes in my life, where I actually feel like my depth perception is good enough that I can play tennis, that I can play pickleball, that I can play the yard game, the beanbag toss, and actually be successful at it. All of these things that require some good depth perception. And it's not just sports. Driving, driving at night, all of these things. I still don't have perfect central vision, but because my peripheral is so good, I can easily and functionally get around in this world with no problems. So there you go. Try using pillars. How can you create pillars that are between you and what you're looking at that can help divide your awareness so that you're looking in two different places at once while your central vision is focused forward? How can you do that? Get creative. There's so many ways to add these types of exercises into what you're already doing. So if you think of anything creative, Put it in the comments. I want to hear about it and I'll try it. And um, we will see you in the next video.